Hey guys, it's Wack Tech, and I'm going to be installing third-party repositories inside of Kodi. If you haven't installed Kodi yet, check out my previous video. Today we'll be focusing on the Fusion repository. If you added the Fusion repository from my previous video, you can skip this. Start by launching Kodi and locating the gear icon next to the Kodi logo. Inside of the Kodi settings, look for the file manager. The file manager is where you add the third-party repository websites. Click on Add Source and a window will pop up. At the moment it says None. Select it and type in the web URL exactly. Done typing the URL, click on OK on the right hand side. Now we need to enter a name for this media source. Keep it simple and name it Fusion. Add a period if you want the entry to appear at the top of the list. Click on OK on the right hand side once you're finished. Move down and click on OK to add the file source. Now that the Fusion repository is added, go back to the Kodi main menu. Locate and select add-ons. Once inside of add-ons, there's a box at the top. Click it. First, we want to install from zip file. Select Fusion to open the repository's webpage. Inside of the FTP server, we're looking for Kodi repos. Now you want to click on English. If you've already installed Exodus in my previous video, you can skip this. Otherwise, click on the Exodus zip file. At the top right, you'll see Exodus add-on enabled. Now let's add Phoenix from the TV add-ons repo. Select install from zip file and click on Fusion. Open the Kodi repos again and click English. Locate the XBM Chub repository zip file. You'll see TV add-ons repo enabled in the upper right hand corner. Click on install from zip file again and go back to the Fusion repository. Go back to Kodi repos and select English again. Now scroll down until you find Metal Kettle. Inside of the Metal Kettle repository we can install Turk Playlist and Gobble. Click the zip file and add the repository. Give it a second to install and you'll see a notification. Once again, click install from zip file and go back to the repository list. Now scroll down until you find the PodGod zip file. The PodGod repo will allow us to install CCloud TV. Once the PodGod zip file is added, you'll see a notification. One last time, click install from zip file and go back to the repo list. Select the unofficial Sports Devil zip file and wait for the notification. Once all the zip files are added, select install from repository. Again, if you previously installed Exodus, you can skip this step. Select the Exodus repository inside the list. Now go down to video add-ons. Now you want to select on Exodus. Now click install to begin installing the Exodus add-on. Give it a minute to download and install all the dependencies to install Exodus. If you see an error message installing Exodus, try reinstalling Kodi or resetting back to factory settings. Press the back button on the remote and go back to install from repository. Click on the metal kettle add-on repository. Now go back down to video add-ons. Locate gobble and click the big button on the remote. Click install and wait for the notification at the top right hand corner. Scroll down and select the UK Turk playlist. The Turk playlist has live TV and movies. Click on the big button on the remote and wait for it to install. If you see an error on its dependency, don't worry, the add-on will still install successfully. Once again, go back to install from repository and locate PodGod. 
move down and select video add-ons. Now click on See Cloud TV. Now you want to click install and wait for the notification. To install Phoenix, click on the TV add-on repository. Move on down and click on video add-ons. Now move down until you find Phoenix. If you feel froggy, you can install any add-on that you like. Locate Phoenix and select it. Click install and wait for the Phoenix add-on to install. After the Phoenix add-on is installed, go back to install from repository. Select the unofficial Sports Devil repository. Move down to Video Add-ons and click it. Now select Sports Devil. Click Install and wait for the installer notification. Once all the repositories are installed, go back to the Kodi Video Add-on menu. This is where you find and start your Kodi add-ons. In my next video tutorial, I'll be discussing more about third-party repositories. If you'd like to see a certain app, please leave me a comment.